Let's talk about a game mode, specifically one of the game modes that came with the Whispers in the Walls update, and that is Alchemy, okay? Alchemy is, as I mentioned, one of the new game modes. You can access it two ways, really. The first way, of course, would be to go to Demos and then go all the way to this place here. You'll have to have completed the Whispers in the Wall quest, and then you'll be able to get from a bounty. But the second way you can actually initiate it is from one of the nodes straight here. Now, you will not get bounty rewards for it, but you will be able to complete it and it will count as an alchemy mode. So right now we are going to go into the alchemy mode and I will explain to you guys how it works as I'm doing stuff. Okay, so it's actually worth noting that alchemy can be an endless mode, okay? You'll see all the pickups, right? Well, the pickups correlate to different elements and right on the screen on the left hand side there as well as in this you see cold and electric so enemies once you kill them they drop the different elemental let's call them flasks right not a guaranteed hundred percent drop but they commonly drop them okay so after you kill them, and after they drop them, what you will want to do is see which one they drop, like the elements. What we're looking for is both cold and electricity. So we're going to pick up electricity, and then you'll see in the middle there, it says to... Well, since I'm on controller, it tells me hit R3 to throw. So we throw it, and it powers it up a bit. So we keep doing that over and over again. We do it with cold and electricity for this one. And then as soon as it gets full, then, well, let's see what happens, shall we? Now that it's actually full of cold, which I'm going to show you guys real quick. Adding more cold will not do anything for it. In order to fill it up now, we will need the electricity one. So these right here, again, enemies drop them, and then we just throw them into here. It should show on screen again what, you, what button to throw. And now that we filled it up, a hundred percent. Here's where the second part of this comes into play, okay? If you look on the map, you will see some cube type things. Those cube type things are important because once it gets to a certain radius outside of that box you see under conversion progress, that white box, you need to keep on shooting these. So the pressure doesn't get too high. If it gets too high, it's basically game over. So we're going to wait because it goes faster, higher up, but you don't want it to get too high. Otherwise, it's in the game for you right there. So, yeah. And then you just rinse and repeat. As mentioned, this is actually an endless game mode. And as you see, it's with element so we can either leave or we can do it again right now if you pick to stay it takes longer for each element to fill i don't know if that's a bug or just how it's supposed to be but yeah that is how you do this game mode in its entirety but unfortunately, at the moment, there is no real reason to stay in this mission after you complete it, despite it being an endless mission. 
type, well, for me, there's not really point any point anyway, which is a little sad because I actually enjoy this game mode quite a bit personally. But that is how you do it. And hopefully you guys found this video helpful in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.